If you go on to enjoy the video, please consider hitting that like button and subscribing. It does really help me out a lot. And if you're into Funko Pops, I've just started a brand new channel dedicated to them. The link for that can be found in the description. And beat the random lottery that is FIFA points by buying the coins direct from u7buy.com. Use code TVM at checkout for a 5% discount. Or if you're a new customer, get 8% discount. The link is down below. What is going on, guys? Tim here. Welcome back to a brand new video. 89 rated Ruben Neves. Available as an objective. Uh, quite a few games to play in order to get him. Four star, four star. Uh, high defensive work rate, which is good, I suppose. I, I guess it does kind of depend on where you want to play him. Most people, I would imagine, would play him more as a CDM or a box to box, that kind of thing. Doesn't have great pace, unfortunately. Only 77 on the face card, 80 acceleration, 75 sprint speed. You are definitely going to want to upgrade that some way or another, whether it be via a catalyst or a shadow. Or an anchor, I guess. I mean, anchor's probably my third choice and my least favourite. Uh, mainly because you don't get that much of a pace boost. He doesn't really need that much of a defensive boost. He doesn't really need any passing boost either. It's a weird one. It is a big shame. I understand why they don't do it. But it is a big shame that there's no chem style to boost pace and dribbling. That would be ideal. Um, four star, four star, as I mentioned, is very nice to have, regardless of where you are on the pitch. Even a goalkeeper with four star, four star would be nice to have, right? There is no possibility of this going up even higher. It's not a, a, a dynamic card or anything like that. He does have great stamina to last until the end of most games. 80 strength. He does have an average body type. However, in game, I am adamant they've given him a stocky body type. I'm, I'm just adamant. He, he feels very stocky in game. He reminds me an awful lot of Wayne Rooney, actually, the, the body type-wise. It's just very sort of stocky and, and strong-looking, you know? Uh, really, like I said, really good passer of the ball, very good in front of goal from distance especially. Interceptions and stand tackle are very good on paper. Composure is 91, ball control 89. Just lacks pace, agility, and balance, which unfortunately is what most people look for in a card these days. So uh, we have an engine on him. Would I recommend it? Not really. I mean, if you're going to use him permanently... Shadow is what I would go with. Catalyst, I think... Catalyst can work. The problem with that is that it it's going to boost things that just don't need boosting. His passing, in my opinion, is good enough the way that it is. You don't really need to boost it. 92 short passing, 92 vision, 93 long passing. It's good enough. Doesn't need to be boosted anymore, right? Agreed? Awesome. So, Shadow, if you plan to keep him for a long time... If you want to use him every now and again and you don't really want to be wasting the resources of a shadow, maybe an anchor or an engine, just to give him that little bit of pace boost. He played in a five at the back formation, kind of holding down the midfield, him and Rooney next to each other. Honestly, sometimes I would get a little bit confused who was who. And I, I said that before, it's the body type. They are very similar. So if you've used Rooney in terms of body type and how he feels in game, that's more or less what you can expect from Ruben Neves. Now, I'm not saying he performs exactly the same way in terms of passing, shooting, and all the rest of it, because there is a difference between the two cards. Rooney is far better than Ruben Neves, but they they just feel similar in games. If you want a comparison in, in that sense, then there you go. He He's good at doing just, you know, stuff. Uh, starts the move here and gets it going and then ends up uh, being finished off by Kyle Walker, emphatically, by the way. And what I mean by just good at doing stuff is, you know, just passing out from the back, making the odd interception here or there, not giving up on a challenge, playing the ball out to the wing and things of that nature. It, he, it's not going to blow your socks off. He's not going to be that player that goes into your team and makes the difference in a game. He's going to be the player that just does the basics, does it well and does it all in the background without you having to really worry about him costing you goals. Can score some absolute crackers, scored a banger there. That comes down to 94 shot power, 92 long shots, and 90 volleys. So don't be afraid to pull the trigger with him, especially if you're on the edge of the area, because he is very, very capable of scoring goals from distance. Don't be afraid as well to go in for a challenge. 91 aggression means that he will be more than willing to do that by himself anyway. Aggression, I find, I mean, we don't know exactly what it does, but it just seems like he's more willing to go into a challenge when the AI are controlling him. So when the ball is played, he will use his aggression to run into, toward the ball, and then obviously will stick a leg out as soon as 
he's ready, willing and able and the opportunity presents itself, you can then nick the ball with a stand tackle interception. His defensive stats are quite good anyway, so even if you don't boost them and you do decide to go with something like an engine or even a catalyst, then you wouldn't ne really need to worry about his defensive stats if you played him as that sort of CDM type character, right? So he's not going to outperform Kante or anything, or maybe even one of the icons that you have there. But in terms of someone who can defend and defend relatively well, I, I would say that uh, it's a good option. The, the only problem, I say the only problem, there's, there's, a, there's a couple of problems, right? So first of which is going to be agility, balance, pace in general, right? Even if you do give him a shadow and there's a following wind and the gameplay feels fantastic, he's still not going to feel very fast. And that is a great challenge. And that is... I mean, that's, that's a problem, right? That is definitely going to be a problem for a lot of people. It wasn't a problem for me necessarily. I got on with it fine. You know, I didn't need him to be running all the way from the midfield up to the so strikers or even to the goal and, and having a pop. I just needed him to be in and around the midfield, ready, willing and able to play balls like that into the strikers so that the fast accurate strikers can put them away I don't need him to be running the length of the pitch if you want a card who can skill his way through everyone Ruben Neves is not the guy for you if you want a guy who's going to sit in your midfield and intercept whatever comes near him or at least the majority of the stuff that comes near him bear in mind we've got an engine chemstyle on him here we don't have a defensive chemstyle he was still very good defensively without having to put a shadow on him or an anchor. If you were to do so, he would be even better again. The only problem with that, of course, is that you don't get the little boost in the dribbling or the passing, so he may not feel as... I, I, don't, I don't know about agile. He didn't really feel agile for me. I didn't necessarily have any mobility complaints. He just feels stocky in-game, you know? And that kind of does drag him down a little bit. So the agility and the balance don't help. The body type hinders him. And of course, his natural sprint speed and acceleration are quite low. So just be ready for him not to feel particularly mobile in the midfield, but definitely capable of going into a challenge by himself, AI controlled, coming out with the ball, blocking a lot of the shots on the edge of the area. Stand tackle is quite accurate. I know a lot of people will complain that players just glitch through players, and that happens regardless of how high rated the stats are but this is one of those cards you're gonna to have to sit down and weigh up whether you think it's worth your time it will take you a substantial amount of time in order to unlock this card depending on your skill level of course it's going to take you longer or shorter but it is going to be a card that takes a lot of time to unlock free yes time not so much so if you fit your I don't think you could. Uh, I don't think you'll be upset about picking him up. I just don't think it's like a world beater to the point where you're going to need to pick him up because he's just that good. Does that make any sense? Hopefully, it does. Very well rounded, though. If you uh, do like Ruben Neves and you've unlocked him and you use him regularly, feel free to let me know in the comments whether you're going to do it or whether you're not or whether you have already. If you have enjoyed the video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel for new, and until the next time, goodbye.